but we are in Benson, Arizona, just outside of Tombstone. We're gonna go check out the uh, tourist center. Oh, we're just checking things out. Do I need to wear a mask? No, no I require a mask. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you guys want to grab our train system around? Uh, no, we, we didn't know if this was like the Chamber of Commerce. No, we're the Visitor Center. Information about Benson. We're just yeah, so what it is, the Visitor Center, I mean, we have different things from all around the area. You know, Scottsdale, Phoenix, Peoria, okay. Tombstone, Bisbee, you know, so we can give you guys different types of literature and stuff like that of that. Oh. Early highway signs. It's been around. Oh, the Horseshoe Cafe? We've read good reviews on that Horseshoe Cafe, and it looks like they've been around a while. Oh, yeah, it's been around for quite some time. So, not sure if we're going to go back out this way. It's kind of a long drive to go to a museum out this way, but we might just go explore this area. So you're going to go drive the train? Yeah. <laughs> 21. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Um, right now you're in idle. Okay. If you go all the way in here, don't go past four. Got it. To get it from forward and reverse, you gotta have it in idle. Got it. This is your key. That's forward. That's reverse. Okay. This is your crossing valve. Got it. Here's your train. Got it. Go ahead and put it in reverse or forward. So forward. And then pull your gear back. And now you're driving the train, and if you look up here to your right, you see it going that way as well. Now, would this be actually what the engineers look at? This is what oh. they look at. Our historian Bob, he got this online. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to step on you there. Our historian bought this online, and then the train company donated this because it does not work. Because they, he called them and asked to have them for sale. And he said, well, what are you using it for? And he explained what he was using it for, and they're like, we'll send you one. Okay. So cool. and then the rest of this he kind of did himself. Wow. And Bob, our story, he's in the office over there. He's the one who did all of this himself. He bent the metal, soldered it, welded it. We welded it before on here. Oh yeah, I went through the back too. So if you look up there, it's going to be one. This is pretty cool. Pull your arm. It's supposed to be two bottle ones and then a short. Yep, that's how they do it. They usually go through certain towns. But our town, you know, we get some that blow it all the way through the town. <laughs> yeah, they'll just wail on it. Yep. That's neutral. That's neutral, and then that's drive. Forward. And then that one's reverse, got it. Go ahead and, and pull this back. Okay. You see on the monitor how you're driving it? And if you look over to your right, you can see it pulling around the bend there. <laughs> you can go all the way to four. And right now you're at two. Okay. And you go to three. And you go one more notch. And if you look here. Four. Woo! Feels like going. <laughs> that is like a roller coaster, it is. Yes. You got the horn. <laughs> That's cool. So these are G scales. And all these are considered G. Yes, all the big ones are G's. Oh, yes. Or Angel Buggy. Yeah. <laughs> the Apache Dynamite Company. Yeah. So there's a lot of different history we have here. Okay, so we just came from the Benson Visitor Center. Now hopefully the little mic will work here and it won't be too, too windy. I have to say that if you are driving through or stop at Benson, make sure you go to the Visitor Center. It was absolutely amazing. Actually, I think it was better than the museum.
Yeah, I actually I enjoyed this one. I enjoyed talking to the, I don't want to say owner, but the historian. His name's Bill. So, so I enjoyed talking to him. Got to drive a model train. It's kind of cool on what they did. It made me feel like a kid again, and I think we all need to feel like kids again. So... so. So now we're actually, this is right next to the Visitor Center. It's the Veterans Memorial in honor of memory of our men and women in our armed forces who rendered service to our country during wartime and peacetime at home and overseas. We must never forget those who gave their life for our country. The United States Navy, where my dad proudly served. United States Marine Corps, where I've had two brothers and Susan's dad served. United States Army, uh, cousins on Susan's side. And United States Air Force, I know several of our friends that have retired from the Air Force. And the United States Coast Guard, Susan's brother proudly served and retired as a uh, commander or lieutenant commander with the United States Air Force. Oh, I'm sorry, United States Coast Guard.